Let's continue on with our pH uh, calculations here and our hydronium ion calculations. All right, for the last one, we saw that working with the formula, pH is equal to negative log of hydronium concentration isn't too bad. If, so long as you have the concentration of hydronium, you just have to enter it into this equation. Please don't forget the negative. And it works out, but it spits out a whole bunch of digits. The sig dig rules between standard scientific notation and logarithmic numbers is a little bit different. Remember that all numbers in scientific notation or regular expressions follow the rules that you've already learned. We only have a new rule for pH and pOH numbers, and sig digs only exist after the decimal point. So that's why there appears to be four total digits here for three sig digs, but only three for this one. All right, notice how we ignored the four as a significant digit? Well, those values are represented to the left of the decimal and therefore are ignored. So, the stuff in red, sig digs, the stuff in blue, not significant. It just has to do with the expression and the way these numbers are communicated. Don't worry about it too much, just pay attention to the fact that if you are asked to write down a pH or pOH number, then those ones have a new rule. Concentration and everything else and any other number that you know follows the sig dig rules that you've already learned. So this is just a small addition to sig dig rules that you know. Don't let it mess you up. Calculate the hydronium ion concentration of a basic solution that has a pH of 10.5. Well, it makes sense that this is basic because the pH is greater than 7. And because the pH is greater than 7, this should mean a very small concentration of hydronium. So, our hydronium ion concentration formula is simply this. The mole per liter hydronium ion concentration is really just base 10 raised to the power of the negative pH. Okay, so we have base 10 raised to the negative 10.5, which is the pH that you have. And we can calculate what the calculator will spit out. So again, we can do that together. Okay, so for this one, there's a couple of different ways that you can enter the number. Both are equivalent. They'll just be slightly different keystrokes for you. But, for example, if I want to put in base 10 raised to the power of an exponent, remember that second function log does this. There's my second function button, there's my log button, and you can see that it's taken base 10 and raised it to the power of a certain number. The only thing I have to do now is put in negative, whoops, how about just one, negative 10.5 and hit enter. And it kicks out a big number, 3.162277 blah 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 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter, a really tiny amount of hydronium. Okay, I can also do it this way. If you want, you can type in the number 10, you can put in the little hat by yourself, and then you can put the negative 10.5 in for the exponent. You can see that the two formulas look very similar, and it gives you the exact same thing. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you like to put in your exponents, we have a couple of different choices. Go which whichever one feels most comfortable, but we had 3.16227, whole bunch of other numbers, times 10 to the negative 11. And remember, this tells us the mole per liter concentration. Now, our sig digs. Remember that in any sort of pH or pOH number, like 10.5 here, all right, only numbers after the decimal place are significant. So you'll notice that there is only one significant digit here. In a scientific notation or a regular expression number, we count anything except for leading zeros. And so there's your one sig dig and the one rounds down. So therefore, the correct final answer here is 3 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter. Not too bad. All right, the formulas work very, very simply, even though we're dealing with this new idea of logs. Don't let it mess you up. Don't take yourself out of the game. This is a very doable thing. With a few practice questions, you'll have it figured out. Again, when dealing with scientific, or pardon me, your significant digits, remember, we've only modified the new numbers of pH and pOH to remind us that only numbers after the decimal place could count as significant digits.
So this is all very, very doable stuff. All right, let's take a look at one other thing, and this is just talking about the logarithmic scales being exponential. So we're going to take the pH of a solution. The pH of a solution has increased from 4 to 6. Remember, every change here is a factor of 10. So to go from 4 to 5 is a 10 times change, and to go from 5 to 6 is a 10 times change. What is the total change then of 10 times 10? You got it, it is 100 times. So we have changed this by 100 times. The question is, has the hydronium increased or decreased by 100 times? Now, think about the change you were making pH. Are you becoming more acidic by going from four to six, or are you becoming more basic as you go from 4 to 6. Remember, the most acidic numbers on our pH scale are down here with low values. The most basic are up here with the high values. And so you are moving towards the basic side, which means your concentration of hydronium is going down. You're becoming more dilute, if you want to look at it that way. So that means to increase pH number has decreased the amount of hydronium. Okay, there you go. So, there is a table here. All right, please follow the examples that we've done here to try and do them. If I give you a hydronium ion concentration, then you can calculate pH from that. If I give you pH numbers, then you can calculate the hydronium ion concentration. Try this out, do your best with it. If there's no exponent given, then essentially you're just reading the scale here. Okay, or sorry, no coefficient given. So 10 to the negative two shows no measurement, and so therefore it would have zero sig digs. But a, PA, a hydronium ion of 10 to the negative two is right here. That would relate to a pH of two. And we would write it as this way. That would be your decimal point, and there should be no numbers to the right of the decimal point because there was no significant digits here. This is a rare possibility when we talk about whole number pHs or pOHs. Okay, so we'll try not to show you that too much on the upcoming quiz. We'll allow you to just work with your calculator a little bit better. Here's another one. If I'm at a pH of 7, notice the decimal point would be here. There's no digits to the right, therefore no sig digs. So all we can do is talk about a relative concentration. If pH is 7, what should be the exp exponential amount of hydronium? It should be times 10 to the negative 7. So we would just write 10 to the negative 7 for that one. The rest of these all have some amount of sig digs, so we should be able to fill this out and come up with those values. What I would like you guys to do is try to work through this table, show all of your work on a separate piece of paper, like write down the formula. Remember, writing helps us understand. Come up with the I values, do your sig digs, and see if you can complete the table. In our next video, I will show you the solutions to this table. If you still have questions, you can certainly check into one of our online tutorial sessions and ask about that. But I think it's a fairly straightforward idea, and you guys should be able to get there. Okay, so do this as practice material before you check into the next video. You'll see solutions, and in the next video we'll finish off 6.2 with our pOH and hydroxide ion concentrations for bases. There you go.